Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at some Bridezilla bachelorette parties that got out of hand. I knew there was a wedding topic I hadn't tapped yet. Let the games begin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually excited for this one. So I got this idea from Joe Sayre on Twitter. Thank you for the submission. He said, do a show on Bridezilla bachelorette parties at drag shows. Dear bachelorette parties, we are so grateful that you want to come join us in our entertainment experience. We are so glad that you are celebrating something so fantastic in your life that you want to share it with the world. We are on stage to entertain everyone and try to make people laugh and just have a good time. However, the party is not about you. Yes, we would love to bring you on stage when we call on you. <laughs> Please don't take advantage of our safe spaces and create mayhem and disruptions during our show. We realize the moment that you walked in with your tacky coordinating outfits with your bridal party that you think it's your night. Like I said, we're glad you're celebrating a milestone in your life, but the moment you take advantage, become rude, disrupt our shows, we will make sure that your night is truly unforgettable by asking you to leave our bar in the middle of the show. So save yourself from humiliation, sit back, relax, take a shot, and enjoy the mother tuckin' show. What happened here, I wonder, eh? What happened? I need some more context. I don't know about you guys. It's the coordinating outfits for me. <laughs> You can get away with it because it's a bachelorette party, all right? I'm not saying it's a bad thing. <laughs> and this is your reminder to subscribe. Am I the a-hole for getting mad my bridesmaid won't come to my bachelorette party? Where is the gavel? I'm getting married in a week. One of my bridesmaids, June, is pretty much the opposite of me. She's very reserved, whereas I'm the party type gal. Love going out to clubs with my fiance. Anyways, for my bachelorette party, I wanted to go hire male strippers. Everyone thought it was a great idea, except June. June said she was happy, I was happy, but she wouldn't be attending that type of event. I asked her why, and I made sure to plan it on a day everyone could come. She said it wasn't something she was comfortable with. Okay. I got upset and told her it's not about her comfort, it's about attending to support me. Yes, I demand that you support me by having naked men shoved in your face. Then and only then will you truly, truly support me. <laughs> She told me she would be very upset if her husband attended a party with strippers, and so she would never even ask to do the same. It would be hypocritical of her to hold him to those standards, but expect to be able to do what she wanted just because it was my bachelorette. June told me she'd be happy to attend once they left, but there was no way she'd disrespect her husband like that. She also said that even if he wasn't in the picture, she's not comfortable with it. I got very upset and told her she was a bad friend for completely refusing to even ask her husband or to put aside her goody two-shoes attitude for one night that's for me, not her or her husband. Am I the a-hole for getting mad? Yeah, I see where she's coming from, to be honest. Not everyone is comfortable with strippers. Frankly, I get rather uncomfortable when I'm around them, so I get it. I'll be around them, don't get me wrong, but I, I get uncomfortable. I think she has the right to refuse. I don't think that you have the right to get mad. I don't think that your friendship should be based off of whether or not she wants to be in the presence of male strippers. You're the a-hole. Not everyone is comfortable with nudity. I am, but I realize that not everybody is me. So stop forcing and peer pressuring your friend into male nudity. She said she would attend once they leave to support you. That doesn't make her a bad friend. I mean, I find strippers incredibly tacky and there's a literal pandemic, but I guess you do your bachelorette party. Look, I don't think that you're quite appreciating the situation here. How can OP have her perfect special day if she doesn't steamroll over the boundaries of her supposed nearest and dearest? I don't know how anyone can have a special wedding day without the kinship forged through having a sweat sweaty <laughs> wafted in your <laughs> wafted in your face between the bridal party. Um I'm sensing some sarcasm. <laughs> For real, OP, get over yourself. She's entitled to not want to be at the stripper portion of the event. Some people think stripping is really exploitative. Some people have strippers as a red line in their own marriage. Your overblown party is not an excuse to demand that everybody around you drops every single little thing in their life to cater you and your every whim. I got upset and told her it's not about her comfort. It's about attending to support me. I got upset at her. She was a bad friend for completely refusing to even ask her husband to put aside her goody two-shoes attitude for one night. That's for me, not her or her husband. Right, hello, on aisle 12, we have a blind. Someone call attitude control. You're the a-hole and I pity your future husband. Ooh, that one's got a sting. Can't you guys just do something else? Or just do the strippers and then she just won't be around them for it. You can strap her to a chair, kidnap her. 
but you might go to jail, so. All right, we have an edit from OP. All right, guys, I get it. I'm a major a-hole. I didn't expect it to blow up this much. June ended up seeing it. I didn't know she had read it. It hasn't gone well. Her husband called me and said some really rude things because June has been crying ever since she saw it. I guess I'm gonna have to deal with this now. Please stop sending me harassing messages and calling me names. Um. I think it's also still kind of funny that you're not worried about hurting your friend's feelings and you're just mad about dealing with it. But I'll leave it at that. As you can tell, Reddit has dubbed this person the a-hole. I have yet to go to a bachelor party. I always get invited to join bachelor parties. <laughs> they like me, I'm nice. I buy bottles for them. <laughs> Can I skip the bachelorette party if the bride's being a total B word? P.S. She's my sister. My sister has been a complete bridezilla since she got engaged. Still, when she asked me to be her maid of honor, I was excited. I started planning her bachelorette party, which was within driving distance for everyone. But my sister would insult me and constantly badger me about the plans. They have to fit the group, huh? She eventually announced that she hated what I was planning so she wouldn't be able to attend. She then demanded an out-of-state bachelorette party, which I planned for next weekend. And then my sister kicked one of the other bridesmaids out of the wedding party because she couldn't afford to travel out of state for the bachelorette. She's also causing drama with our families because she wants an out-of-state bridal shower. I'm so over the drama that I want to back out of going to the bachelorette. Can I do that? I feel like she'll respond by kicking me out of the wedding party, but at this point that might be a blessing. Hmm, that's a tough one. I mean, it kind of sounds like you don't really want to be involved in the wedding anyway. You just have to decide whether or not you're willing to sacrifice your relationship with your sister and go from there. All right, here's the response by the advice columnist. The only event that a bride is guaranteed to is a wedding. Bachelorette parties and bridal showers and engagement parties and rehearsal dinners and morning after brunches are generally hosted by either the wedding party or family member, which means the bride doesn't have a say in how they're planned. And if she's lucky enough to have any of the bonus events planned in her honor, she needs to show up, shut up and enjoy the party and then thank the hostess graciously and profusely. The alternative, if she doesn't want to deal with a party she knows she won't be happy with, is to pass on having a bachelorette party or a bridal shower entirely. Well, there you have it. <laughs> There's something about saying the word bachelorette. <laughs> my bachelorette. Are you coming to my bachelorette? <laughs> Bride expects bridesmaids to throw her a proper bachelorette party two years after her wedding. Am I the a-hole for telling my friend that we're not throwing her a second bachelorette? My friend Lucy got married in late 2019. I was one of the bridesmaids with another good friend of ours serving as the maid of honor. There were four other bridesmaids as well. Early on, Lucy told us she wanted to do a girls weekend getaway for her bachelorette. At first she picked an affordable getaway, but then changed her mind and picked another spot for a longer period of time. It was gonna cost a lot of money to attend, not to mention fell during a time some had to work. The maid of honor and I managed to get the money and take time off work. The rest of the bridal party said that it was either take time off and spend money on the trip or the wedding. Lucy agreed, obviously the wedding was more important and just the three of us went on her bachelorette. We had a really fun time, but my friend did keep saying she wished that everyone was there. Understandable. Other important factors. We spent a decent amount of money to attend this wedding. Lucy lives in a different state than most of her bridal party. Only one bridesmaid was local to her. We were spending money on flights, Airbnbs, the dresses, hair, nails, makeup, gifts for her, etc. Not to mention all of us took time off work and I don't regret it. It was a super fun wedding and I'm glad I was there to support my friend. Shortly after returning from her honeymoon, Lucy started hinting at a redo for her bachelorette, saying that it sucked that not everyone came. We all said we didn't have the money or the paid time off at the moment. Myself and the other bridesmaids in private at various points agreed we had no desire to throw her a second bachelorette. The topic was dropped for a bit when everything happened around the world, but occasionally Lucy would bring up that we needed to have a bachelorette once everything cooled down. We all just ignored it. Things are doing better now. All of us are vaxxed. This time, the maid of honor ended up contacting us, wanting to set up a second bachelorette. All of us were honest, most of us were recovering financially from the past couple of years. Two girls lost their jobs. My husband lost his, so I was the sole breadwinner for a while. And we're only now recovering from all of that. And given how much we already spent on the wedding, it's just not practical for us to throw her a second. We said maybe we could all have a smaller reunion in 2022, but nothing like she desires. She wants us to go back to the same expensive spot. I guess Maid of Honor reported this to Lucy, who said she was really disappointed that she didn't get her proper bachelorette, even though she's been married for two years now. I told her that she was being a little greedy. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's one way to put it, yeah. She had a fabulous wedding, bachelorette party, bridal shower, and engagement celebration. Not all of us attended all events. They were still thrown. At this point, we don't owe her another lavish trip. She and the maid of honor are upset with us saying we're making Lucy out to be a burden. Am I the a-hole? All right, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this once. You get one day. <laughs> 
one day, that's it. <laughs> Bridezillas, wannabe Bridezillas, one day. It's your day. But you get one of them. <laughs> Lucy, you're making me out to be a burden. Former bridesmaids. Oh, oh, so you understand then. <laughs> oh, you get it. Great. Why does it have to be a bachelorette anyway? That's a good point. It would have a completely different vibe if the bride said it was a great bachelorette and the wedding was so much fun. I'd love for all of us to hang out again. Why don't we go on a trip together in a year or two? Yeah, for me, it's like she wants this, the event to specifically be about her. You know? And I'm guessing that she also probably wants everyone else to pay for it. That's the bridezilla part for me. I also wonder why none of the friends' bridesmaids thought of phrasing it like that to her if they really had such a good time together at the wedding. Friend, we had fun, your wedding was great, but a second bachelorette with all of that isn't gonna happen. Why don't we go on a trip together in a year or two? The reaction to that would tell them what the bride really wants, a paid vacation or fun times with fun friends. You could technically say, yeah, like let's let's plan something together. It's been a long time since we were all together. Why don't we all go on um, a trip together? And see, engage to see if she really just wants a free trip or if she just wants to be able to celebrate with you guys. You did technically celebrate her at the wedding, did you not? Also, if it's a bachelorette, does that mean that she can, she, she's got like a, like a hall pass? You know what I'm saying? You're not a bachelorette anymore. You're married. <laughs> that ship has sailed, bestie. All right, I'm going to make the decision. I dub thee not the a-hole. Am I the a-hole for being negative at a bachelorette party? I had never been to a bachelorette party before. I know the basic concept, drink a lot with lady friends, but I don't party much, so I have low physical stamina. I get sick tired easily. I'm very safety-minded. We all noticed Bride was on and off sulking during the last night. I don't drink hard with her much, but I've known her for most of my life and know she can sometimes be mercurial. So I didn't take it too seriously. Next day, she avoided everyone and spent it at the hotel alone. I figured she was hungover and didn't read into it. Overall though, it was an awesome time, I thought. Then I got home and got a text from the bride. She said that while I might have meant well, I ruined the weekend with my negativity. I asked for examples because I literally had no clue what I had done. She gave me a list. One, I stayed at the hotel in mornings with whoever was hungover, interpreted as avoidant. I was sore. We all met up later. At 12 a.m., I asked girl A, who seemed to be not having fun as well as girls B and C, if they were tired and either wanted to bring the party home or split it in half to recover. They were all willing to be troopers, so whatever, idea shot down. Bride told me that girl A gossiped that I seemed really angry about all of this and made it sound like I was being conspiratorial when I was just gauging interest. I'm sorry, you were gauging interest to shut the bachelorette party down early? It's not your call, babe. It's the bride's call. <laughs> You're in it for the long haul. If you wanna leave, I guess that's different, but like trying to get everyone to leave early, <laughs> Sorry, no, that's no, that's not allowed. Soon after girl D bought non-consensual shots for everyone. Oh, give me a break. Including still hungover sick girl B, which I thought was insensitive to force upon her. I voiced annoyance at this and that B was still recovering. And that type of liquor makes me ill. I wish I had an input on the type, but I shot it anyway and I got kind of sick, but still stayed out with everyone for the sake of it. Girl D later told Bride that I was very rude about the shots. Bride was getting wasted fast. So I urged water consumption and slowing down a little. This was pretty perceived as yelling at her. We were in loud bars. The only way to communicate is yelling, fun policing and patronizing. I just didn't want her to waste a whole day of her weekend being sick in bed and I'm hurt that expressing concern was interpreted this way. No, you're, you're a joy, you're a killjoy. <laughs> this is her bachelorette. If the bride wants to throw up on stage and projectile vomit on all of you, you just take it. <laughs> Bride spent the last day sulking in bed anyway, so I guess I should have let her get f***ed up instead. It would have had the same end result. Yeah, what are you, her mother? I'm sorry. No, it, this would not fly at my bachelorette. If I ever get married, this would not fly. That's just my opinion though. I mean, I would have also taken that as you are being like patronizing and being like, oh my God, you're so drunk. Like you need to like sober up. It's her bachelorette! Shut up! As someone with social anxiety who prefers to drink in quiet places, I was really patting myself on the back for socializing so well under these circumstances. Now the whole experience is retroactively ruined by learning that not only did I wreck the bride's fun, but also nearly every girl in the group was gossiping about me during the weekend. All right, so am I the a-hole? Sorry, but you're the a-hole. You criticize someone for buying free drinks along with their drink choice. If you don't want it, don't take it. If the other girl didn't want it, then she can say so herself. You didn't need to be rude about it. I also feel like you were projecting a lot of your own feelings onto the other girls as 
evidenced by when you ask them to leave because you've personally felt like you were all on the same page, tired and not having fun, which resulted in them declining and tattling on you to the bride. Clearly you were not all on the same page. Also, isn't the point of a bachelorette party to get trashed with your friends? That's exactly the point! That is the entire point! You criticize someone for buying free drinks along with their drink choice. If you don't want it, then don't take it. But they were non-consensual shots! I'm sorry, what? Yeah, what OP is describing is a normal night out, not even for a hens. That means a bachelorette party in British. Also interpreting riding around as by non-consensual shots. <laughs> Some real, oh yeah, you're being dramatic for sure. All right, you're the a-hole OP. Everyone are grownups, they can monitor their own drinking and the bride should be allowed to have fun at her own party. I agree. You're the a-hole. You're not though, I like you. Subscribe.